Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fumi Mark. I'm from About Fate, Family Model, and all the stuff in between. If you are new here, you are in the right place. Thank you for coming over and over again. Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification button, okay, so that when I release a new video, you will get notified. And for my old subscribers, oh my god, you guys are the best. Thank you for coming over and over again. Again. So guys, for people that are new here, I'm a first time mom of an 18 months old boy and my son is so amazing. God bless him for me. So guys, and I remember that six days after delivery, I didn't want to see him. Like, I literally told my mom, please take him out, take him out. I want to sleep because mother was actually taking its toll on me. Mother is no joke guys, it's no joke. And uh, I remember that. During my pregnancy, I actually prepared for pregnancy period because I read a lot of book. I turned to a full-blown researcher. Like I remember a colleague of mine saying, "Ah, for me, see the way you are just doing as if you've been pregnant before." That was the way it was for me because you can't even tell me not to take cold water. I will ask you why because I have the knowledge already. You can't tell me not to do something. You can't tell me to be using pin. Why we are out like i can query every statement like before even before even going to see my doctor i know what my doctor is going to ask i know what he's going to check i know what i'm expecting do you understand so i was ready one day i'm going to share a video on my pregnancy journey and stuff like that. i was ready like i was prepared emotionally physically spiritually and also but I was also prepared for mother because I've actually read a lot of things too. I've read, I was prepared, but when I got in there, <laughs> I mean, it was no moment. <laughs> so I was ready, I was ready for everything, like the changes and everything. So I was actually prepared. I was even prepared for this mother out yeah. here. I think that was uh, why it was actually still better for me in a way. Mother is no joke, like I said. So I decided to share the tips like that really worked for me in my first year of motherhood. Things I can call like baby acts. We are single, and you know that you are still going to be married. Come and let's just learn this wisdom. Don't wait till when you are married because you may not have the chance. You may not have the opportunity at that time. Okay, and if you're a new mom, you can still learn from this. If you are and another, if you are an experienced mom, you still want to give birth again this video is for you or you are even an aunt an uncle even husband to be this video is for everybody grandmas everybody so just let's enjoy and just learn from the wisdom i'm about to share today in this video so if you are ready for this thing let's jump right into the video number one don't despise the use of pacifier for people that don't know what a pacifier is, I'm going to put a picture here so that you can have an idea of what it is. Like from, from the word pacifier, it's just to pacify. So, you know, <laughs> this baby, then, when they get used to breastfeeding and they get used to this milk, they just want to be on the breast 24-7. They, they just want to suck, suck. And because of that, you know, you are stressed as a new mom, you are stressed, you know, you are overwhelmed because it's, it's, it's tiring. Yeah, breastfeeding is actually tiring. So, a pacifier will just, it's just like mimicking the breast. So just giving the baby a pacifier will just cool the child. The child will just munch on that. It's just like snacks, okay? Even though nothing is coming, but they are just munching on it. And that will keep them busy till they are hungry again. You know, a lot of people say, don't use pacifier because it gives colic. Don't use pacifier because it's causing nipples confusion. Don't use pacifier because the, the baby's stomach will be very big and all sorts. But I used pacifier. I started using pacifier. I think maybe like a month after, a month after, and it was cool. You know, the baby would just you know, after the baby is well fed, I would just give him the pacifier. I'll just put it in his mouth, and he's okay. He's fine. He's playing till he sleeps off. So the use of it was just a lifesaver for me. So just try it if you are a new mom or an experienced mom. Just try the use of pacifier. It's called, and if you notice that it actually causes nipple confusion for your own baby, you can just discard it. All right, that is that. Number two, 
the use of breast pump guys breast pumps are super super amazing they are super lifesaver i tell you the fact that you can actually pump out your milk and save it keep it and someone else can actually help you to administer it to your child is super amazing yeah there are different types of breast pumps okay i started using the manual one which is actually it's so cheap it's like you can get as low as five thousand in the market like ten ten dollars ten can um, ten us dollars you understand and also we have the electric one i later swapped to the electric one later okay when my sister actually sent it to me and it was just it made life easy for me guys so it made life easy for me because the fact that you are stressed you are sleep deprived you are you, are, you just want to take care of your child you know you, you are still adapting to the new environment is stress on his own and that's what causes postpartum depression or what we call baby blues you understand so when you have pins equipment like this that can help you please just use it i know <coughs> sorry guys i have such it i know a lot of doctors doctors actually frowns at the use of bottle feeding because they believe it harbors gems which is actually true so you actually need to actually take care, good care of that a bottle you have to i used sterilizer you can use warm water uh, hot, hot, hot water and salt and there's this melting tablet too you can get okay that you can use to sterilize it and make it very neat and you just don't you don't just give anybody to help you wash your bottles okay unless you've actually trained them to do that okay so i'm actually going to do a video on 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 breastfeeding i was able to do and um, breast exclusive breastfeeding as a working mom I, I was able to pump more than 1000 meals in a day i'm going to do that video here, uh, later not not now but guys we can't overemphasize the use of breast pump get one for yourself as a new mom plan it let it be let it be part of your of your baby things breast pump please 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 it's so essential please thank you number three the use of separate rooms i know it's not everybody that would buy into this idea but it actually works for me it actually works perfectly okay i remember the nights we came back and we came back home and my mom asked do i want to stay with the baby or Will, will I allow her to keep the child with her in the room? And I agreed, you know, because I think I've seen my other sister, that's my sister-in-law, do the same, which was fine for them. So I felt, okay, it's also good for me because I realized that a little sound from the baby will, make, will, will wake you up. A little turning, a little cools, a, anything will wake you up, and you actually need the rest. So if you can allow, so if you can allow your mom or the person with you to be with the child, to fill the child during the night, you know I've used breast pump to actually pump out milk. So my mom would just do, uh, my mom would just give the milk to the child during the night without disturbing me even though i'm actually going to wake up to pump but it's not going to be because the baby wants to suck and my mom will do everything my mom and my mother-in-law will do everything to make sure the baby goes back to bed and stuff like that so it was relieving also so for me it works you can try it some people may want oh my baby i just gave birth i want to stay with my baby oh, it's if it works for you but for me it works for me that's why it's okay decide to share with you guys so that that one is optional right. number four support system hmm. see from conception start thinking about the person that will come and take care of your child the people that will, the, the people the person that will take care of your child who is available at that time because you actually need a strong support system you actually need someone to because you are just healing. You are just healing. You need someone else. I remember one of my sister in the in the US who said, I'm not going to do this again because they thought they could do it together, he herself and the husband. They thought they could do it together, they thought they could wing it. But she said, For me, I'm not going to do this again because there was nobody, they just thought they could do it. So please get someone, get someone that can actually help you out. 
during my own time, you know, I had my mom, I had my mother-in-law, I had my younger sister, it was during Corona time, so I had my younger sister with me, I had my, my husband too was also with me, so it was a lot of support system, I had a lot of support system around, so please prepare for your support system, prepare for it. Please, it's so essential. It's not when it's now two weeks to deliver that you'll be like, ah, who is now going to come? Who is now? Please, prepare. Get your, make sure your support system is so strong. And when we talk about support system again, you can, there are groups you can join. I joined ATP when I was, no, I joined a ATG when I was pregnant. That was, asked the gynecologist when I was pregnant. And immediately I gave back, I moved to ATP. Those groups are on Facebook. ATP means ask the pediatricians. So they were so helpful. So that can be part of your support system. Also, please make sure you have a solid support system. Please, please don't 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 do life alone. It's not easy doing life alone. All right. Number five, interact with other moms. Yeah, get into your community. Okay interact with other moms. I remember that. I remember that it was my friend that actually told me about pacifier. Even though I had pacifiers, I bought pacifiers, you know, but I didn't use it because a lot of things that people said, okay? But she was one that said, ah, babe, I, I, this thing is, she call it major, like, give shots <laughs> for babies, okay? She was the one that encouraged me to use it, okay? And I did, you know, even when I was still skeptical about, ah, doctor said we should not use bottle feed, uh, bottles. She was the one, she was the one that said, ah, for me, start using bottles. It's okay, because at that time we started, use, we were using cup and a spoon, which was stressful, you know, it would take time, you are still feeding the child within 30 minutes, but bottle feed, oh my God, within five minutes, the child is full. <laughs> so she encouraged me, so get around, get, Get other moms around you, okay, that can actually help out. Join groups on new moms groups on um, on IG, on Instagram, on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Just surround yourself, okay. Get advice from them. Share your own experience because by sharing your own experiences and they to sharing their own is actually going to help you in your first year of mother. Yeah, that's it, guys. Make sure you interact with other moms. Don't live life alone, okay. Number six, ask for help and learn to accept help. Please don't say I can do good all by myself. Let people help you, okay? Ask people for help. Please, can you help me wash the dishes? Please, can you help me wash the clothing? Please, can you help me mop the floor? Please, can you do this? Can you? Don't feel like, oh, I'm asking to mop. Ask for help. Don't die in silence. Don't die in, in silence. Please ask for help. See, it's a new world. It's a new world. You need people to help. Learn to accept help. There are some people, they are perfectionists. They just want to do it. On, they just want to do good on their own. They just want to do their things themselves. Please, please learn to receive help. When people are offering help to you, learn to receive it. Build a relationship that can help you. Because when you don't have a relationship with someone, it's not, it won't be easy for you to say, please come and help me. But when you've built a relationship over time, you can, oh, please come and help me do this. And I'm not saying it's because of what the help you need in the future. That is why you are asking, you are building the relationship. Please build a relationship, solid relationship with people around you, with older people, younger people, age, age groups, so that when you need help, it is easily accessible to you. All right, ask for help. Don't forget and accept help. All right. Number seven, the use of nursing pillow. Please get your nursing pillow. It was, it was, it, it helped breastfeeding for me. You know, I'll put the picture here. You put it on your lap, then you put it raises the baby to the point. You don't have to bend like this to feel the baby, which can actually lead to backache, okay? So when you use nursing pillow, it helps you to raise the child to the level of your breast and you will comfortably breastfeed the child. Get your nursing pillow, it's helpful. And even with the use of nursing pillow, you can easily lay your child on the nursing pillow and put him on the bed or somewhere that is safe and you can use it for that two purposes but for me it was it was the best okay it was cool for me you can also get your nursing pillow all right and last but not the least this is this one is get a routine 
number eight get a routine get a routine for yourself and get a routine for the child when you get a routine for the child is actually going to help you because you know when the child will be awake you know when it wants to sleep you know when it's time to eat and within a week you can actually get the child to a routine a stable one okay that find there are days that they may want to alter the routine but it's helpful, all right you will actually you know when it's maybe when it's seven the child takes his bed then after bedtime he eats he socks or take breast food maybe after then then he goes to bed okay then maybe by one or two o'clock he's awake then you fit just get a routine for the child get a routine for yourself get a routine for your child it's going to really help you to manage yourself to manage the child and to manage your time okay so guys that is what i wanted to share with you today i wanted to do this video on mother's day as a gift to moms out there but since it's coming now please accept it with love yeah let me know in the comments section what are the things that actually worked for you in your first year of motherhood please share with us share with us we can't wait to read from you yes because other people too are going to read that comment so please share with us and please guys don't forget to subscribe please share with everyone share with a new mom share with an expectant mom share with them because they are going to have self-delivery in jesus name and motherhood is going to be fun and easy for them in jesus name so guys that is it so till we meet again in the next video i call you blessed. Bye.